Doubles Bedwars is the most popular Bedwars game mode on Hypixel. It is easily the best game mode to grind stars, however it is one of the hardest game modes to master. In this video I will be teaching you everything you need to know to get better at Bedwars Doubles, such as which maps to play on, how to take 2v1s, and the best strategies used by the best players in the game. There is a lot of information in this video. Feel free to use the timestamps linked in the description to skip the different sections of the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I put a ton of effort in my videos and any support would mean the world to me. To play Bedwars doubles, you obviously need a teammate. I strongly recommend that you find a teammate. Don't solo queue if you want to win games. If you don't have anyone to play with, you can always find someone in Lobby 1. It is strongly recommended that you're in a Discord call with your teammate, but it is obviously not required. You do whatever works for you. When you're playing doubles, one person will be the defender and one person will be bridging. At the start of the game, the first rusher or the bridger will wait for 8 to 12 iron to buy 32 to 48 wool. They will then bridge to the side base. The way you bridge depends on the map. More on that later. You should always try to take out the team next to you before you move on and rush other people. The defender Defender will then wait for the appropriate resources to place one of the defenses shown on screen. These are the best and most efficient defenses used by a lot of good Bedwars doubles players. When you're on a fast iron map, replace the wood with clay. I'll talk about what fast iron means later on in the video. When you're grinding Bedwars doubles, you should try to have really fast and efficient games. This means that both people should split up and rush both sides of the map. When grinding, there are specific maps that you should be playing. The best maps to grind Bedwars on are Lighthouse, Pernicious, Speedway, Solus, and Orchestra. One important part about Bedwars maps is the difference between fast iron and slow iron. What they mean is basically how fast the generator is. If it's a fast iron map, that means the generator gives a lot of iron. If it's a slow iron map, the generator gives very little iron. Speedway and Orchestra are both examples of slow iron maps. Most maps these days are fast iron maps. The generator speed influences a lot of decisions and strategies used in Bedwars doubles. You should try to remember the generator speeds of every map. Breaking beds efficiently is one of the most important parts of getting really fast games in Bedwars doubles. The two most common strategies used to break beds are using TNT or tools. Generally, using TNT is better on slow iron maps. This is because you have less iron to buy tools. You should drop TNT from above on the corners of beds, not on the sides. Because of how TNT works, the explosion is less likely to open up the bed if it is placed on the side of a defense. Breaking beds with tools is better on fast iron maps. You should always buy good tools so you can mine the bed really quickly. Blocking in also helps you get beds in certain situations. Defending your bed is also really important when you want to keep up fast games. Whenever you have to clutch, your games will automatically be longer. When defending your bed, traps are key. You will always have time to void if you see someone close to your base if you have a minor fatigue trap. You should always call out if you see someone approaching your base. Water can also be used to defend TNT. You should always have a water in your team chest at your base just in case. In order to have really fast games, you need to be able to take a lot of 2v1s. To do this, you need to have patience. Don't just rush in and try to kill anyone who walks in your path. You should always try to get more stacked than the other team. This can include getting more diamonds to get better upgrades or eating gapples when you're low on health. Use the high ground and get a good jump on people. It also really helps if you're just good at PvP. If you come across what you think are sweaty players, don't be afraid to cross map them because they will likely do the same to you. Both players should rush them if possible. Just make sure you don't get killed by anyone else. You should always wait and try to take fights with your teammate if you're fighting good players. Collecting diamonds is really important in getting fast Bedwars doubles games. You should be collecting diamonds every time you pass by a diamond generator. You should buy upgrades in the specific order of a minor fatigue trap, sharpness, protection, haste, and heal pool. You should only buy heal pool if you have extra diamonds. It's just helpful for extra regen to defend against people who are at your base.
Clutching games is a really important part of doubles bed wars and is one of the hardest things to do. Clutching happens when your bed is destroyed. When this happens, you should go mid as soon as possible. When you're there, you should avoid all fights and collect emeralds. You should play very passive and only go for beds when there is no one at their base. When using emeralds, you should prioritize pearls and potions. Pearls are extremely good because they're basically a second life. You should only use them to save yourself. Don't aggro pearl on a person or on a bed in most situations. Jump and invis potions are used a lot to break beds and to escape from certain situations. Here are some general tips about Bedwars doubles that will help you get better games. First of all, don't let anyone skip past and break your bed. You should never try to go for bed trades, especially if you're trying to play fast. When you're at your base, you should always be using the team chest so you can share items between your teammate. This is especially important on slow iron maps where there are less resources to begin with. You should always be communicating with your teammate to make sure that you can keep track of everyone and where they are on the map at all times. This is important to do so that your bed does not get destroyed when you least expect it. If you're a more experienced player who's better at PvP, I actually recommend recommend buying haste over prot. This is so that you can easily take out the bed before killing your opponents. This allows you to team wipe more consistently because you won't have to fight them multiple times. Make sure you call out if any other teams go mid, especially if they get emeralds. You should try to keep a rough estimation in your head of how many emeralds they collected. If someone mid bridges you, you should immediately void and call out if someone's incoming. And that's pretty much it for the guide. If you have any questions, I'll try to respond to as many as I can in the comments below. Feel free to mention anything that I may have missed as well.